How's it going everybody? So today we have another algorithm problem called Top K Frequent Words and this problem is asked at a bunch of different tech companies including Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Apple, and a bunch of other ones. So before I get into the video, I want to let you guys know that I created a private Discord channel. So if you become a patron, you have access to it and you can go on there and ask me questions or ask other people questions. I'm also planning to set up a bi-weekly virtual meetup where we all solve leak code problems together. So if that is of interest to you, uh, you can sign up to become a patron and uh, it would really help me out. So without further ado, let's get into the problem. So the description says, given a non-empty list of words, return the K most frequent elements. Your answer should be sorted by frequency from highest to lowest. If two words have the same frequency, then the word with the lower alphabetical order comes first. And then in the follow-up, it says, try to solve it in big O of N times log of K time and linear extra space. So this is the explanation that I will be going over the optimized approach. So before we jump into exactly how to solve this problem, let's just make sure we understand exactly what we have to do. We have to return the K most frequent strings inside of this array. So with this input, we have K equal to two, and we have the strings, I love leak code, I love coding. So we need to first get the frequencies of all of the strings in our array. So we have I, that occurs two times, right? Love occurs two times, leak code and coding only occur a single time. So now that we have the frequencies of all the strings in our array, we just need to determine which strings are going to be returned. So obviously love and I, they occur two times while leak code and coding only occur a single time. And now that we have the highest frequencies, we need to determine which order we return them in. So since K is equal to two, and both of the frequencies of I and love both have a value of two, we need to return them in alphabetical order if they have the same frequency. So I would be returned first, and then love would be returned second. So this would be our final answer. So now that we understand what we're supposed to do, let's start diving in the actual approach to solve this problem. So we've already done the first step, and the first step was to get all of the frequencies of our strings. Now, as for the second step, we need to put these pairings, so I and two is a pairing, love and two is a pairing, leak code and the number one is a pairing, and then coding and the number one is a pairing, right? We need to put all of these pairings inside of a structure that will order them in a specific order for us. So what structure is perfect for maintaining an order as we are adding and removing elements? Well, that is the use of a priority queue. So a priority queue will utilize a min or max heap under the hood, and it will maintain the order that we want using a custom comparator class. If that doesn't make sense so far, it's okay. I'm going to walk through the full example step by step. So we want to maintain an order of these pairings by first looking at the frequencies of all of our strings. But if the frequencies of any of the strings are the same, then we need to order it by alphabetical order. So when we're writing this custom comparator class, we're going to have a conditional. If the frequencies are the same, then we order by alphabetical order. If they are not the same, then we simply order by frequency. So we've initialized our priority queue. And the first thing we want to do now is loop over all of our frequencies and add the strings into our priority queue. But also keep in mind, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have to solve this problem in big O of N times log of K time. And if we look on Wikipedia, it says that the insertion operation for a heap has a worst case time complexity of big O of log of N. So we need to make sure that when we're inserting inside of our priority queue, we only ever have K elements inside of our priority queue. And that way we can keep the time complexity down to log of K when we are inserting elements. So the first thing we wanna do is add I inside of our priority queue. So we've added I inside of our priority queue and it obviously just goes to the top of the queue because we didn't have anything else in there. And now our priority queue is a size of one. If it ever gets greater than K, K is currently two, that means we would need to pull from our queue. 
And now we can just add love inside of our priority queue. So now love is actually coming before I, and our size of our priority queue is now two. Now, I'm sure you might be wondering, why is love coming before I when they have the same frequency? That would mean that I has a lesser alphabetical order. However, we want to make sure that we only ever add in K elements at any given time inside of our priority queue. So that means when we're pulling elements off of our priority queue, we will thus be removing the elements that are either having a lesser frequency or have a greater alphabetical order. And so now we want to add leak code inside of our priority queue. So now leak code is actually coming before both love and I. Since leak code has a frequency of one, that's less than both what love and I had. So our size is now three. And what that means is we need to pull from our queue a single time in order to make sure that we only ever have K elements. So we will pop from our queue and then we will just be left with love and I. So our size is now back down to two. And lastly, we're gonna add coding inside of our priority queue. So now coding comes before love and I, it's on the top of our queue and our size is now three. The reason why coding is now at the top is because we have a frequency of one, which is less than both love and I. Since our size is three, that's greater than K, and that means we need to pull from our queue. So we are going to remove coding, and now we will just be left with love and I. So now we have finished iterating over all of our pairs. Now we have all of our answers inside of this priority queue already. So since our size is two, and we're looking for K, two elements, we just need to pull from our priority queue until it's empty. And we can just append this to a list. So first, we're going to remove love, and love will get added inside of our array. And then we pull i and add that inside of our array. So now we pulled all the elements from our priority queue and put them in a list, but if you already didn't notice, this array is backwards, right? love isn't supposed to come before i so once we remove all the elements from our priority queue we then need to reverse it and this would be our final answer all right so we're given an array of words and an integer k we need to return the k most frequent elements so the first thing we want to do is initialize a map in order to get the frequencies now that we've initialized our map we need to loop over all of our words. So we can say string word of words, and we're going to say map.put word. Now, if the word is already in there, then we know we can just take that value and append one, right? But if the element is not in there, then we need to default it to zero and then add one as well. So we can say map.get or default. So if the word is not there, we're gonna default it to zero and then simply add one. So this will handle both cases, whether the word is in there or it's not in there. Now that we've initialized our map and got all of our frequencies, we need to initialize our priority queue and create a custom comparator class. So I've initialized the priority queue and it's just going to be storing strings. And what we need to do is sort these strings by the lesser frequencies. And then if the frequencies are the same, then we sort them by greater alphabetical order. The reason why we're doing that backwards is because we're going to be pulling from our queue in order to ensure that we only ever have K elements inside of it. So the first thing we wanna do, let's extract the frequencies from word one and word two. Now we just need to check if these frequencies are the same. So we can say if frequency one is equal to frequency two, then we need to return them in greater alphabetical order so that it's backwards. So we could say return word two dot compare to word one. So in this scenario, strings that have a greater alphabetical order will come first. If this is not true, 
then we need to sort by the lesser frequency. So we can just say return frequency one minus frequency two. So now that we have all of the logic for sorting, we just need to loop over all of the entries in our map and start adding them into our priority queue. So we can say for map.entry of string to integers, and we can just call it entry. And we need to get all of the entry sets. And then now we need to add in the string inside of our priority queue. So we can say pq.add entry.getKey. And now this is where we need to check the size of our queue. If the size of our queue is greater than k, then we know we need to pull. So we could say if pq.size is greater than k, then simply remove the top element. Or actually, we want to do pq dot pull the top element. And now, once we are done adding in all of our entries, by this point, we should have all of the strings that we want to eventually return. So let's create a structure, a list of strings that we're going to eventually return. We can call it result. And now we're going to loop over all of the elements in our priority queue. So we could say while our priority queue is not empty, then we just want to add them into our result list. So we could say result.add pq.pull. And now by this point, all of the strings inside of result are going to be in reverse. So we need to reverse it back, right? So to do that, we could just say collections.reverse our result and then simply return our result. So now let's just make sure that this code works. So we'll submit it, and there we go. So as you already know, our time complexity is going to be big O of n times log of k. On line four, we have to loop over every single word in our words array and get the frequencies. And then the log of k portion comes from line 19, where we have to add in every single entry inside of this priority queue. However, on line 20, that is where we pull elements if it gets to a greater size than k. So that's how we can keep that time complexity down to log of k. And then as for our space complexity, it's going to be big O of n. And that is because on line three, we have to initialize a map which holds all of the frequencies. And in the worst case, we have all of our words having only a frequency of one. So that would correspond to n elements inside of our map. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. I know these questions can be very difficult. Don't forget to sign up for the private Discord if that is something you're interested in. I will see you guys in the next one.